Once a month we have the Cougar Book Club and the kids select a book that they'd like to read. I have five copies of each book and the first five kids that sign up get to keep a copy of the book. And we meet once a month and discuss the book after school. What kind of books? Young adult. The, uh, the FTRs? No, because that's no. our battle people. Oh, okay. And our battle of the books group tends to be similar to our um, book club book. Okay, and what do you do with battle? Battle of the books, we meet here after school once a week and we get on the computers and we play Cranium Core with our Florida Teen Reads books. And I see you have something called Little Cougars. So you have big cougars and little cougars. We have big cougars and little cougars, yes. We have a preschool here, three-year-olds and four-year-olds. And our high school students take early childhood development and they teach those students. But they come to me once a week on Wednesdays into our little children's library that I have for them. And I read them a story and talk about um, features of print and things of that sort that follow the um, kindergarten standards and read them a story. And they check out books. So she had um, a number of things happening with books. Um, those preschoolers are adorable, and you don't think about preschoolers on a high school campus. No, but the high schools have the early childhood education program that's teaching their, their students how to be caregivers and teachers of preschoolers, and then they'll move on to college. So it's perfect. It's like walks hand in hand. So she has a book club where she meets with students and they discuss books. Um, and then um, the battle of the books. So we'll talk. We'll, uh, on this show, we talk a lot about battle of the books. But what what would, what were we seeing there when she was talking about battle of the books? What she they're what they're doing is the teachers that are actually the sponsors at her school for battle of the books come to her and they practice the cranium core uh, battling technique. It's a it's an online game where the kids are answering questions and then they have to defend their question. And that's the important piece. They have to be able to find information in the book and defend their answer. And the one that gets the right defense the best gets the points. Well, um, <coughs> she's got a lot going on. Yes. And um, let's, let's see if she wraps it up and tells us about uh, her media center being the hot spot of the school. We have about 75 to 100 kids that come in during their lunch. Some come in and they eat in our cafe area. Others work on the computers. Others also just decompress on the computers and play a game or, or something. We have a lot that come in and study, and they're all over the room. Okay, and speaking of all over the room, I understand you teach databases. I do. I work with the teachers and find out what they're researching and asking the children to research and then bring the classes in to our lab and I show them how to use the databases to do their research. And ultimately, I, this is a library, so I'm assuming yes. kids check out books. They do check out books. We were actually the second highest in our circulation last year. I was very proud of that because we came from the very bottom of the list up to second. And so we have certain areas for certain books and kids ask me all the time if, they have, if I have a book, if I have a series, and I help them pick books to read. So tell me, what is an open mic? We started Open Mic Mondays, and students can sign up to perform at Open Mic, just like a standard Open Mic. Um, we've had singers, we have poetry readers, um, we have guitar players who just play a song, and I've taught the students that at an Open Mic you don't clap, you snap when the performance is over, and so we do that every Monday, and the students are really enjoying it. Watch Digital Learning Monday and Friday at 6.30 and Saturday and Sunday at 12.30 on WPDS TV 14, Pinellas County Schools Television.